tribe welcome back to my channel so i'm bringing you one of those readings that is hopefully going to inspire you uplift you or make you maybe um put a bit more effort towards your dream of some sort so i don't know what's gonna come through in all of these piles i haven't looked at the cards myself just yet i'm gonna shuffle on camera but the focus of this reading is what is the next thing that is going to make you happy pile number one is on the left that's pile number two pile number three and pile number four so meditate take a minute if you need stop the video right here and i'll catch you in timestamps Hello pile number one, so let's take extra decks and let's pull some more cards before we take a look at your main card here today. What is improving? What's the next good thing? Wow, nine of cups is here straight away, like making sure that some, to some to I can't speak, some type of a dream is coming true here. Wow, okay. One more. One more. I'll also be using the uh, Urban Tarot. Mm -hmm. What's going to make pile number one happy next? Okay, that one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to try not to get into specific stories stories but i think this is gonna be quite difficult so i'll have to jump between stories and as you all guys know i'm waiting for um, a lot of people so please choose what right what sits right with you here pile number one that one doesn't want okay the star the nine of cups is here i mean for a lot of you guys you know what it's going to be it's like the way you feel like to me, pile number one, you are those type of people who know exactly most of the time where you're going to land, where you're going to get to. And it just takes courage as well as consistency in order for you to get there. We have expansion. I mean, come on. A shedding snake. Um, I haven't pulled this card for ages, I think. Um, at least I don't remember. Okay, let me tune in. Let's take a look. Let me adjust the camera a bit so you can see. You guys, what's happening with some of you here? I'm seeing you starting a completely new phase in your life. You've outgrown something and you becoming a new person. It seems like you, you have been ready for this chapter in your life for a while now. And uh, you are very certain for a lot of you that what it is that you envision, what kind of dream you have, idea you have, or vision of where you're going to be in the future, it's very present here. So I don't know what all of you guys are thinking of here, but it does seem like in pan number one, you've been encouraged to go for what you believe is right for you and especially if this has some kind of connection to emotional fulfillment here i'm not seeing many cards talk about finances here because your focus first of all panel number one you want to be either free you either want to travel you want to explore you want to expand you want to explore and there are a lot of options for you out there how to do this if you felt like you've been stagnant for a while now in your life, and I'm not talking a year, I'm talking more than that. Maybe you've been thinking about this. Some of you maybe wanted to travel the world. This would be your pile. This is literally the pile for those who have a big dream of some sort that's going to somehow change the way they feel internally. Uh, and it's not so much about earning X amount of money. It's about experiences. 
Pile number one needs to know that uh, by you stepping out of your comfort zone or trying some things that you haven't tried before, and I keep hearing keep it moving, you are going to be very close to seeing that dream coming true. Overall, in I keep hearing happiness, overflowing happiness, pile number one. If you felt, um, especially for the past half year, that you couldn't maybe find motivation or you couldn't see brighter days, what you need to know that there is a lot coming your way and you're going to be pretty busy. I'm seeing you go in places. This pile number one has a lot to do with movement. If you want to move house, home, if you want to move to another country, or if you want to travel, this is your pile. This can be done, this can be accomplished. In fact, I'm hearing it's around the corner. It's around the corner, because some, some of you, you have um, completed already a cycle in your life, and now a new phase is about to bloom, I'm hearing. A new phase is about to bloom. There are I'm hearing for a couple of you, there are a couple of ways how you can achieve this. So don't think that there is only one way for you. Keep your eyes open, keep your heart open, and uh, be open to surprises. Be flexible. Be flexible, pile number one. Let me take a look at how your life uh, will look like once that's taken place. What's going on? What's going on? Whoa, the six of wands is here. I mean, come on now. Come on now. On top of the mountain. On top of the mountain. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. <laughs> this is crazy. Pile number one. What I'm seeing for some others of you, you you visible to other people. We have the six of wands as well as the star. If you're aiming to be visible on social media or in a big group, I'm seeing of people. Respect is here, the chariot together with the six of wands. You don't be surprised if in the future you're gonna have a couple of people come your way saying, how did you do this? How did you achieve that? Um, I'm hearing overnight. For some of you, something might happen overnight. Um, you know those uh, stories like someone release, releases a video and it um, it just explodes and someone's life is being changed in a day. That's what kind of feeling I'm getting here for pile number one. Know that this is possible. Don't give up, keep on going. Any kind of opposition or any kind of, um, I'm seeing challenges that, that might be on the way, this is only for you to go stronger, grow stronger, as well as to understand what you are capable of. So accept um, good criticism I'm seeing here. And take a step back don't take anything personally criticism will grow you as well as competition will grow you this is necessary on your path i'm seeing energetic upgrade too so expect a transition energetic transition shift that will take place that's going to elevate you to a new stage but overall, um, oof, card on the floor. This is a pile for people who are literally like aiming for for the uh, either a free lifestyle, either um, travel or being visible online or being visible in their work. You know, someone who wants to go for a hundred percent. I want it all. That's type. Of, that's that type of situation, and. Um, Again, I keep seeing you. See, we have three of ones here. Backpacking for some of you. you you're going to have to move around quite a lot. I'm seeing a diverse lifestyle. Um, I'm seeing that uh, you might even go and visit a couple of places, um, locations, um, and you just keep moving. You keep moving around and that drives you. 
that drives you, it gives you a lot of motivation because you are needed in different places. Mm, I'd say expect uh, quite a busy period, but also this feels very, um, you know where, how should I express it for you? Your hard work will be paid off but there is there is a bit less of hard work in pile number one but more success you know lucky break i'm hearing obviously you have to start moving towards that direction but i'm seeing you guys are almost like you're born under a lucky star if that hasn't been visible for you just yet expect it happening in the future expect it happening in the future um, these are the people that could potentially one day be famous or very well known in their work. Um, this is the pile for travelers, for those who live a free lifestyle, for those who keep, I'm here and I want to I wanna travel, I want to go, I want to expand, I want to express myself. Um, this is not a boring lifestyle. So that's what I'm seeing here for pile number one. I do hope that this made sense. And... Um, I don't need to wish you best of luck because it does seem like you have it here. But tribe, hopefully, this message found those who needed to hear that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pal number two people. So I'm going to pull from a couple of decks. And then we're going to look at your main card here. Pal number two. What is the next good thing that's going to make you happy? Let's take a look at that. Number two. I keep hearing don't lose hope. Maybe some of you have been frustrated lately. Yeah, ten of wands. You put so much energy, so much work. You probably have quite a lot of responsibilities or you just do feel a bit tired right now. I want three cards at the bottom too. What's going to make you happy, pile number two? What's going to make you happy? We have so far Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Page of Wands. Whoa, this is, this is an intense card. I love it. Yeah, and the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fire here. Bottom of a deck, Knight of Swords. Um, this is a warrior type of energy that I'm picking up. I want one card from the Urban. One or two, we'll see how I'll feel about it. What's the next good thing? What's the next good thing, pile number? You have a star. <laughs> we have a star here. Good. Great. This is interesting. Now the Seven of Cups showed itself and we did have that in other pile. So you might probably want to check one more pile, even if it's not going to be the same one, doesn't matter. And the Six of Wands is here. <laughs> nice. Just confirming that we are looking at messages um, about something that's going to make you ha happy. Let's look at this Wheel of Fortune, obviously, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and um, touch on everyone's stories that I'm picking up here because we have a lot of people watching this. So different scenarios for different people. Please take what sits right with you and what you already are aiming for. This is going to be like a confirmation. See, I want to start with saying you have put quite a lot of work in your previous jobs or in um, maybe for some of you in your family. It seems like you... You are someone who doesn't give up easily and um, that's going to be rewarded here for you. Remember that you won't have to carry those wands for too long anymore. And what I'm looking at at this card is this little heart over here. Know that your hard work is appreciated by your surroundings. That is a very, very strong message here that I'm picking up. 
And I'm seeing a new opportunity for you guys here, especially for those who are looking for a new job or to change a job or to um, have some kind of idea that brings you success. This is here. We have a lot of fire on the bottom here. Take a look at this, this page as well as this night. Look what's happening. It seems like you guys are super motivated. You're very driven and you're not afraid to take a risk with this page of wands because this isn't, this isn't a job for everyone i do believe maybe what you're aiming for career-wise it's a bit different from other people around you so don't be afraid to be unique and different because this is achievable for you and there are a couple of ways that you can get there um you're already looking at the dream you have some kind of an idea and a dream that you feel like for pile number two it seems like you're a bit less certain than other pile that i've had Pile number one, you need a bit of a kick in the ass here to believe in your idea or your dream or some kind of, um, yeah, it does seem like this is someone who who's thinking of an idea and you're like, can I do this? Will I be successful? All you need to know, pile number two, is you need to start because we have a couple of action cards here saying, listen, do this. Just go for it and you'll see how everything will pan out. You have luck on your side with the Wheel of Fortune. We have a pentacle being handed out to you. What you need to do is to find what kind of pentacle you are looking for. So sometimes it might be difficult for people, you know, to land on one maybe job or one idea. Just keep exploring. Keep exploring all those ideas that you have in your headspace. It's about taking action for you guys, pile number two. Take action and you, through experiencing what you do like and what you don't like, you're going to land exactly where you need to be and you can then celebrate your winning, okay? Um, don't be afraid to take charge. What's going to make you happy here? It's almost like you're going to prove to a couple of people around you, I'm seeing as well as yourself, that you can do it. So this pile is for people who maybe get discouraged sometimes. Maybe someone said something, are you sure you can do this? Or maybe they were told that in childhood and it stuck to them. I don't know if I'm capable of this. I don't know if I can make this. You need to know that you can and you will. Pile number two, just make sure that you allow yourself to explore. It's not about um, knowing the whole outcome and how everything will pan out. It's about exploration here, pile number two. Learn. You're being asked to learn and you probably will be learning something new here that I'm seeing. Learning about a new job, learning about a new project. Learn as you go. That's going to take you places. I'm also seeing a masculine energy or at least someone who's pretty sharp who is very clever, who is very smart, who might be influential on this journey. This is someone who's really good at what they do. Now, it can be connected um, to your work. You might meet this person for work, but that's not a necessity. Uh, again, there is that strong warrior type of energy here. Um, you're being asked to keep on going. Keep on going and don't doubt yourself. I feel very strong, doubtful energy here for pile number two. You need to know that you have victory card over here as well as the star, the wheel of fortune. I mean, come on. Pile number two, I think very soon enough, you're going to start seeing that fortune shifting and that fortune will be on your side. Um, I must say, I'm sensing for a couple of you, you might meet a person or someone is resurfacing in your life who will shift things around. So if that's something that you felt before, this is your message. And that opportunity might come from someone else. For others of you, if, if you are building or thinking of building something on your own, you need to know that you are capable of it. And this has a very solid... Um, it's um, with it... With the Ace of Pentacles, it's not something that you're going to let go easily. Uh, it's something that could blossom into something quite stable. Let's see what else. I have to stop um, a message for a couple of you. If the past month you, you've you noticed um, feathers, butterfly symbolism, or 
peacock you need to know that <laughs> it's like universe god whatever you believe in is pushing you towards that idea take it opportunity or idea take it and roll with it um, if you do have already your business or if you're quite successful in your work expect newness expect new projects expect expect an upgrade of some sort even a promo i would say for some of your promotion with that ace of pens Take a look at this Knight of Wands. This guy wants to celebrate. This guy is like, yes, I've done it. I made it. So at the end of the day, you, you're really proud of yourself. We have death. Yeah, it's all about, you know what? One chapter, an old chapter has ended and you want its beginning. And I think for some of you, you might feel a bit discouraged because you're like, oh, but this, this plant is quite new. You know, those trees have been there for a while. Mm, it's, um, someone really needs to believe in themselves in pile number two because it didn't take these trees to grow so big and so tall and so strong overnight. It's, it's taken time. For some of you, I'm thinking uh, what might be a bit of a blockage or a bit of a stop um, is that maybe you think that I don't want to waste that much time. And this, uh, in pile number two, you're being asked to ditch that idea. Good things take time. Don't compare your timing with someone else's, okay? Don't compare other people's successes to yours. You have your own path to walk. Queen of Swords is here. Whatever you succeed in that, and judgment is here, you're upgrading. Whatever you succeed in, su I can't speak today, I can't, I don't know. Pile number one is pile number two is the same. And the cards are similar, actually. Whatever you succeed in that, um, it seems like there is a very strong connection to your throat chakra or knowledge or experience. All that you've learned and all that you have to say about what you've learned will be important on this path. So if you've been drawn to writing, um, teaching, sharing um, your knowledge with other people or showing how much experience you have in a, in a, in a new job, um, don't doubt yourself. And I don't know why I can't speak in both of these piles and cards are quite similar. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Yeah, see? Um, Knight of Pentacles is here. I'm sorry to say, but it's about patience. It's not about rushing a project, work situation. It's about having patience in between your tasks. One step at a time, okay? One step at a time, guys. Whatever this is, it's, you can't rush it. You have to enjoy the journey because on the journey, if, you, if you'll rush the journey towards your success, you will miss out on a couple of things that are really insightful. When your head is busy and when you um, overburden yourself, overload yourself with so many things, you're not as present with every single task. Once you are present, you can take so much more from it. It will take a minute, but believe me, once you're there, you're going to be over the moon about where you have ended up being. This is, this is a big pile. Uh, this is the pile of someone who has put so much sweat and tears I'm hearing in order to get to where they want to be and then bang once they're there I'm hearing them breathe breathe in breathe out and saying look how far we've come and I'm saying we because this is you and your higher self your inner navigation <laughs> yeah the sun is here happiness over the moon If you feel like you don't have enough clarity, don't worry about it. It's going to come. It will knock on your door, I'm hearing.
Seems like you're going to be sharing your successes with other people. So I don't know if you want to teach or if you want to do um, some type of charity work. Uh, but you're giving back in the future. You are giving back. And there is something else that's being hidden away here. Um, that universe, God, whatever you believe in, doesn't want to talk about because it has to come through as a surprise. There are a couple of things that you're going to be happy about. Yeah, it's going to come quick, unexpectedly, but it has to stay as a surprise. So I'm not going to get involved in this too much. I don't want to ruin it for you. But all you need, <laughs> chariot, all you need to know that uh, this has a connection to some type of movement, fast movement. So there, there would be a situation where someone has to get up and go very fast. But it's not telling me what exactly this is going to be about because it has to stay as a surprise. Anything else that you need to know, pile number two? What's going to make you happy? Yeah, then see, it does seem like it, this pile has either a connection to authority, some kind of job that is quite responsible or it has a connection to marriage i would say because we have the king and the queen of swords here as well as the hierophant um so if you are looking especially when i say if you're looking to remarry know that this is this is happening in the future and uh, i don't know why but i'm just hearing remarrying so this is just for those people who have been married before and uh, maybe those who are going through divorce right now, don't doubt yourself. There is someone, a good match for you out there. And you will want to um, remarry again, especially those who are thinking that, oh, I never want to marry again because I had a difficult experience. It's saying you're going to change your mind once you'll see that person, once you'll get into that relationship. Others of you, I'm seeing if you ever wanted to teach, you would be great teachers and you would spread a lot of wisdom and knowledge for those who need it. So see, I keep jumping between scenarios here, but I have to because there's a lot of people watching this. Please choose what sits right with you and what you're already aiming for because a lot of you know already what's, what's for you and what's not. But yeah, overall, this pile has a surprise factor to it. Don't micromanage the universe, let it flow, do what you have to do and everything will happen how it has to happen. Um, it really, really like Spirit is telling me, don't, don't ask too many questions when it comes to that surprise factor. It has to stay, stay as a surprise, okay? The star twice. And the star ex is exaggerated here. Um, yeah, surprise factor. The tower is on the bottom. Something quick and unexpected, but in a good way. Um, in this reading, in this spread, this is good. <laughs> this pile reminds me of people who, at one point, they have lost motivation or hope that they can get to the place they, they want to be. And then... Uh, they pick themselves up and they start working towards that goal. They don't give up. And soon enough, they see those rewards. And those rewards seem to be much bigger than pile number two has imagined, you know? And it's like, whoa, whoa, this is big. Whoa, I didn't expect it to be this way. And I keep hearing be flexible. Uh, don't control the outcome too much because you might be taken to a place that's even better for you than you have thought of. Okay, because your ego knows only as much as it does right now about your surroundings and about people that you know of right now. You may meet different people, you may be in different places, and new offers may come in. Just be flexible. I have to tell you, pal number two, be flexible and be open to surprises, okay? And uh, well, I'm really intrigued by pal number two because it does seem like some of you will go like, what the fuck? You know, at the end of the day, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Uh, so I'm seeing a notepad. Track, track this journey of yours towards your goal because you'll see how everything will tie in at the very end and what kind of a story this will be. I hope this made sense, Tribe. Thank you for coming back. 
Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, pile number three people. So let's see what you need to know here. Straight away, I saw an image of a child. So if you are aiming to have a child, this is your pile. And now, uh, for those who don't want to have children or you can't have children, uh, this can be a representation of a project or just leave this message for those who came for it. Let's see, that's gonna make you happy. What is this path to success? I don't even know how I'm gonna name this reading, guys. Knight of Cups. Three of Wands. I'm, I'm hearing someone is returning. Um, this would be a situation where peop two people were separated because of some type of unexpected I'm hearing news or someone had to go. I'm seeing two people who were in relationship or family members and one of them had to go and the other one keeps waiting for them and I'm hearing it's been a while, it's been a while. So there's some kind of re reunion happening here. Pile number three. The hangman is here. The Eight of Cups, I told you, someone had to go. Let me adjust the camera for you a bit so we can see. It's gonna make you happy. Pile number three. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. This is an interesting story. Bear with me. Hermit, bottom of a deck, three of cups. Yep, there's that reunion message here. Let's take a look at this. We have the masks, the hidden wolf. Okay, so let's look at this. This pile number three, um, this has a very strong connection to a person. Pile number one and two um, was a bit different, but here it does seem like what's gonna make you happy um, one scenario, now I'm going to split you guys into groups, you'll know which sits right with you. Scenario one, if you've been waiting for some type of confirmation, if this person is the way that you think they are, with the, with the hidden wolf and with masks, if you felt a bit off about the person or if you felt like you don't know them completely just yet, you will be glad that your intuition was correct and you chose what you chose to do. Okay, um, for other people, what I'm seeing here, hmm, <laughs> the next thing that's gonna make you happy, it's almost like a journey I'm seeing here. You are, in the past, you were focused either on someone or on some kind of a project or work situation but you are not as much paying attention attention to self and self-growth or soul searching. What you're going to do, you're going to refocus. You're going to place all your attention on yourself and your dreams and what you want to achieve in your life and take back control of your life. But this will be triggered by some kind of event. You want to take back control of your life and you want to discover what type of abilities you have or what type of... Um, I'm hearing restructure, restructure, or what you want to build for yourself. You're building something new here. And I do believe someone else helping you out along this journey. You meet in about the time when you decide to do a bit of soul searching and focus on self and dive into, I'm hearing, I'm seeing books and I'm hearing research. You might be learning something new or you might start seeing life in a bit of a different perspective, seeing it for what it is. Maybe before there was some type of situation that was sugar-coated or you couldn't see to the bottom of it. 
and you'll be able to see exactly for what it is. Would it be good or bad in your eyes with the masks here? And that's going to open your eyes to a completely new world. And therefore, you're going to somehow decide to put more work on yourself. And that will lead to you making certain decisions to either leave someone's life or to go on some, some type of a trip in order to meet someone. But whoever you're meeting on that trip or whoever is traveling towards you, because it can be vice versa, is a person that you already know of. This person gives me a vibe of a friend with the Three of Cups here. But whoever this is, this is a smart person. This person cuts right through bullshit. Um, it does seem like pile number three, you will get out of a difficult situation that's gonna make you really happy here. Especially if you felt like a person, a job, a situation was kind of off and your intuition was nagging you about it, you're gonna see it for exactly what it is. I'm hearing a lucky break of some sorts. Because something was suffocating you for a while and it didn't um, allow you to live somehow freely or lead the life that you want to and you're going to cut that chain off. That pentacle is not helping you anymore. It's kind of suffocating and it's quite heavy on your neck. You're going to be like, Nana, I don't want this anymore. I cut something off like this mask over here, right? I remove it completely. I want to see what what's behind it what is behind this mask pile number three you're finding truth and for a couple of people this is gonna be a, a very happy moment in their life because they're finally free the truth will set you free this is a serious pile pile number three i'm seeing a lot of you will start practicing some type of um I'm seeing a spiritual practice, some kind of work that has a connection to spirituality, maybe divination for some of you, shamanism, mediumship, uh, tarot, whatever that would be, but you're tuning into yourself. You're seeking for answers within instead of seeking for answers without, I'm hearing. And um, it seems like you, you're going to change your opinion about certain person. But someone else might show you that. Something will trigger it. And you're going to be thanking your own inner guidance that you've avoided this situation. I'll give you an example. Someone who's being offered a job where they would be paid much more than the, in the job that they have now. And their intuition keeps nagging them saying, I shouldn't take that job. Where logic says, why the fuck not? Because this job pays much more and it's such a good position. But intuition is saying, no, don't stay, stay, stay. And you know, a person who takes a job and they don't listen to, to their intuition, something would happen. For example, where, um, let's say like Corona struck, right? Certain companies had to get rid of people uh, soon enough. And especially for those newbies, um, they didn't get any benefits or any support. So that would be that type of situation where, thank God, I listened to my intuition about the person, about the job, about something. So you're going to be pretty proud of yourself here that you did take a moment to tune in and to listen to what you're being told. Would it be uh, your guides that you're tuning into or your own intuition, your higher self? Uh, but I'm paying attention to pentacles here. Even in this hermit card, we have... It reminds me of a pentacle here in the corner. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of vague. It's kind of blurry. But I think it has a connection to stability. Or it has a connection to your own with a four over here. Your own energetic stability. You know what I mean? We have um, number three twice. So pay attention to that. I'm seeing big support coming from either friends or family members here right at the time when you need it. I got your back, I'm hearing. I got your back. Yeah, you guys are going to completely step out of your comfort zone. You're going to do something that maybe you thought you wouldn't have done a couple of years from now. And you're going to be really, really proud of this. But it's going to require guts, okay? It's going to require guts. Here you go, that new proposal of some sorts in a completely new beginning. It's, um, it comes right after the full. So here you're sitting there and you're kind of thinking, 
Uh, should I go for it? Should I not? What do I do? What do I choose? Right? The fool doesn't overthink the situation. The fool comes from heart. Fool just goes where their gut feeling leads them. Um, they don't turn to intellect to consult intellect, right? And to analyze the situation to the T. They're just like, whoop, I feel like I want to go there. Uh, that feels right to me. And in that journey, of a fool here, what they discover is some type of new possibility and opportunity that allows them to move forward and to expand and explore. I'm hearing, look what I found. Look what I found. Yeah, it has a strong connection. I keep hearing moving on. I'm moving on, moving on, moving on. And whatever you're moving on, I do believe I have to tell a couple of you, you ditching a, a person who, uh, who seems to be nice on the surface, but your intuition was saying like, mm, don't get involved with them. I have to say that, but that, if that's, that doesn't sit right with you, don't start thinking, oh, you know, is this this person or is that that person? Because you're going to create unnecessary scenarios and um, I don't want you to. Okay, I don't want you to. You're standing strong in a battle, I'm saying. Standing strong, and it does seem like for some of you, it was quite difficult, uh, maybe at certain phase of, in your life, to stand strong for what you believe in, but you're taking back control of your life here, and you're moving towards directions that are right for you, not for anyone else. Um, you're not living for anyone else here, you're living for yourself. And on that journey, when you live for yourself and you focus on self, you're going to meet all the right people, all the right connections. And it does seem like you're given a, a break, you know, I'm seeing you resting much more. You're getting more sleep. But that's something that you're earning yourself. What an interesting path. And again, Knight of Swords is at the bottom of this deck. This is a warrior type of energy. I know what I... What I what I'm worth, I'm hearing. I know what I'm worth and I know what I can do. Watch me. So I do believe that this pile wasn't for everyone, but I hope that this pile found those who needed to hear about this. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Hello, pile number four people. So let's see what is the next thing that's going to make you happy. I don't even know how I'm going to name this reading because... Piles were quite different uh, for some people. There was a journey towards a happiness, towards a goal of some sort. For others, it was a bit different. So we'll see. I guess you know by this time. Okay. So it's bringing you happiness. The next good event. Pile number four. We have seven of cups. Page of Pens, we have Justice, we have the High Priestess. We have the Queen of Cups, ooh. Bottom of a deck, Page of Cups. I love this Page of Cups, look at this. Um, I'm hearing a lucky discovery for some of you. Now remember, I'm gonna be reading um, a lot of people's energy, so I'm gonna split, I'm gonna jump between scenarios, so please choose what sits right with you. We have the Ace of Cups. And look how this queen is holding that cup. Um, it does seem like there is some type of appreciation, ancestral appreciation here. This is very spir spiritual straight away. And that page of cups here, it's very magical for me. Followed by nine of pentacles and we have the sun right here. And after the sun, we have the Ten of Cups. I mean, whoa. Whoa. Okay. This pile will not be for everyone. Straight away. What I'm seeing you, um, it's a bit like a story pile number four. I want to start with a story. 
there will be a moment or there was a moment for some of you guys where you were feeling a bit like I don't know what to choose I don't know where to go I don't know which path is mine or there was a bit of a chaotic maybe energy wise situation where you kind of felt a bit up in the air and very ungrounded and you were like I don't even know I'm gonna sit here and I'll figure things out as I go that would be the best scenario if you still feel like you're a bit floaty if you still feel like you are uncertain about something take one day at a time one step at a time don't rush um you being asked to learn and i'm seeing you guys learning in the future you're going to discover some type of idea um job situation um i don't know what you're aiming for right now but i'm pretty sure a lot of you watching you know exactly what it is so i'm not gonna start mentioning everything but um take a look at the page of pentacles here in this deck this guy is in the middle of a forest in the evening and he's not afraid. He's like, I feel like there is something there for me in that forest. That forest is metaphorical, right? Mm, I'm going to go and discover what it is. It seems like for a lot of you, you will find a lot of truths, your truths, and a lot of insight through, through learning, through digging deep into the darkness, if I can put it that way. Um, behind the scenes I'm hearing something that is not visible with um, with eyes only something that has to be felt this is a pile for people who are aiming to have their own spiritual business if you are one of these people who came across this video what you need to know is that there's gonna be a period of time waiting for you see this is written already for you this is written. You have to have a connection to spirituality in your life path. Um, but more so, the feeling that you give me is very shamanic, very ancient. Whatever practice you're going to decide to do, whatever you're going to decide to do, um, it, it, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, this um, has a connection to what your, one of your ancestors used to do. And either this person was a medicine man, I'm hearing for some of you, either this was someone almost like I'm seeing a village and I'm seeing um, a seer and everyone goes to consult them. Um, there is that shamanic energy here that I'm sensing. It doesn't only have to be shamans, you know, but um, it feels very ancient, but very tribal. And I wouldn't be surprised if your path has a very strong connection to that. Uh, you guys should expect new endeavors, especially I'm seeing you learning something new that's going to make you feel very excited, pumped in addition to what you're already doing. Um, there might be some kind of, I'm also seeing refurbishment in your work situation. Maybe you're going to want to move things around. Maybe you'll want to restructure, uh, have a different schedule. I'm seeing that you're improving in your work. Um, that's going to make you super happy as well as your intuition will be over the moon. A lot of you are discovering different abilities that you don't, I think, know that you do have through some type of learning experience or coming... It's almost like um, some of you will come upon it um, almost like accidentally you might click on certain website you might click on and watch certain video and then you go like whoa i want to go for this whoa i want to learn this i want to know more about this um and that's gonna that's gonna take you places i'm seeing people uh support you as well as respect you and your abilities and it's almost like i'm hearing someone is praising someone and uh, whatever you do, this is your life path. This is, this is saying with the justice right next to high priestess. There are so many secrets that you're going to discover in the future that will be important for other people. Um, maybe you're going to be that type of person who puts all dots on the eyes when a person is lost. You are very intuitive, pal number four. Keep using that even if you haven't started doing anything spiritually, right? Obviously, if that's something that you don't want to do, this is not your pile. But uh, for a lot of you here, you have to be led by your intuition through life. It's going to take you places. But I must say for pile number four, 
you still don't know how much you hold in you what kind of abilities you hold in you because some of you are still a bit um not fully assertive your business and your life path will bring a lot of happiness to people around you your clients people who will cross your path I'm seeing you healing people as well as making them, helping them find their own happiness. And um, this will be an experience that will not only bring you happiness, but bring happiness to clients too. It's, it works like it. I'm seeing a teamwork, you know. Um, I'm seeing someone saying, oh my God, you helped me so much to understand more about myself or my certain traumas or um, I'm hearing why a certain event has taken place but then you tell them you're like well actually thank you because you you let me read for you or you let me you know tune into your energies and help you but by helping you i understand so much more what i'm capable of so this is a um a partnership um equal partnership a client and i want to say a seer you know <laughs> this is nice i like this a lot What's going to make you happy? Yeah, I mean, this job is not for everyone. Every time I see this page of wands, um, this is not a job just any person would do, right? Entertainment situation. Because it might seem a bit too much for other people. Or they're like, I don't know, you know, I'm not capable of this. I probably will burn half of my face while doing though, by doing this, right? But you are created for some kind of work that not everything can do. Um, you have a talent for this. You're being asked to dive deeper into undiscovered abilities of some sorts. Test yourself. Test yourself more. Um, believe in the impossible. Pile number four. Believe in the impossible. It's almost like I'm hearing this world card. The, the world is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you. I'm seeing you making friends with people uh, around the world or making contacts with people around the world. Um, I'd say look up the spiritual meaning of an eagle, but that's for a couple of you. Probably have been connected to it already. There's a lot of fire that we see over here and fire has a lot of energy. Fire is energy. So. I don't know what you're doing here pile number four already because a lot of you have started this and you're not new to this and as i said fire i need to take my sweater off because it suddenly became super hot in this room um it's like i had this boost of energy you know just rush of energy going through my body i'd say take a look at that test your energy maybe you wanna you wanna start healing people in different ways maybe you want to try yourself maybe you want to try remote viewing maybe you want to try um, healing someone's illness using your your energy in your palm you know I'm just kind of brainstorming here because there is a lot happening and a lot that could be done but um, it does seem like you're gonna be one of those people that everyone in the circle knows of and everyone respects and a lot of people won't even understand how this can be done or how you are capable of this <laughs> uh, in your life you will go through a transitional period so don't um, push yourself too much when you'll be a bit lost um, say if you will feel like oh, i don't know if i'm on the right track these periods of time are given for you in order to either grow or to practice more or to come across a certain practice that you haven't tried before, okay? This is, I call it a wandering stage. A wandering stage, right? Uh, take a look at the uh, Four of Swords over here and it's it right next to that. You could either be uh, scattered energetically and, and uh, start being, <laughs> being um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm hearing lose your head. You either might lose your head around the time when things are uncertain and, and blame yourself that you are 
uh, not as in tune because sometimes we have weekends off when it comes to intuition, right? Sometimes we feel everything so intensely, sometimes not as much. And um, I call it weekends off. It's okay to have those and give yourself a bit more rest for all that time. Give yourself more sleep or have a full plate of good, good food. You're still learning, I think, how to cope with your abilities here, panel number four. Um, you'll get there. There is more, so much more to discover. Yeah, look at the fire all over this reading. Fire, fire, even in death card, fire. You are meant to go through phases in your life, especially energetic phases. Uh, what I'm picking up here with death, tower, and the page of wands, I'm picking up an immense, almost like a blast of energy. And it might be difficult to live with energy that you have and the power that you have. But once you get a grip around it, how to use it and how to navigate it, how to manipulate it, um, you're going to become, I mean, you're a master. This is a strong pile. This is literally a pile. Like, you know... You guys, you walk into the room, you see that? You see what's happening here? You walk into the room and people like stare at you probably. People feel your presence. Yeah, the hero find this here. You're meant to be teachers. You're meant to impact people's lives here. And that's what's going to make you happy. The next good thing for you here is literally everything that I mentioned because it feels amazing. Look out for new opportunities, new ideas, new projects. And also keep on learning. It's all about learning. It's all about understanding more and more about yourself and your abilities here and how to hold that fire, how not to scatter the energy all around you, right? How to have it contained and to only let it out with intention when you want to and where you want to. So being conscious of your abilities. And I think you're going to be teaching people in the future and that's going to make you really happy because I think your call pile number four is to teach others or to help others somehow. I wouldn't be surprised if you were teaching other people how to do certain things or how to tune into their own abilities a bit more in the future because you meant to be the people that other look up to and other go for advice when it comes to serious business I'm hearing, when it comes to serious life questions, okay? Yeah, King of Swords is here. King of Swords knows, you know? You go to King of Swords. He's gonna not only pull shitloads of books <laughs> and tell you what they know of, but they also are life smart. And they don't BS. They're like, listen, this is BS. That's not, you know, this is um, something that is... I'm seeing you're going to be able to differentiate what uh, what you thought was true when you just started and what's actually true, you know? Almost like um, you're making clear or you're teaching people about certain misconceptions even. So I do hope that this made sense, panel number four, and I'll catch you in the next one. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. Bye for now.